You left the Shining Dragon. Duh. He's hopeless. Not even any fun. If that's all he can do, you don't need me to capture him. Jorg, you do it. Hmm. <laughs> well, I suppose it could have gone worse. You showed uncommon restraint simply to leave it. But was it really too much to ask that you take the Sky Dragon's soul? Dragon soul? Right. Joachim said something about that. Sorry. Totally. Zest. Obtaining the dragon souls is in your best interest, not merely ours. You do understand that. Yeah, I guess. Whatever. I'll remember next time. Enough of the Sky Dragon. We determined its location, and that is victory enough. We will have our chance to reclaim it. Our primary tasks are to find the souls of the Sea Dragon and the Dark Dragon, and to analyze the Earth Dragons. The Dark Dragon's soul in particular would be a great advantage. My sources tell me its power rivaled the Shining Dragon itself. My father's wish demands we acquire the Shining Dragon, but that can wait until we have collected the others. Georg, continue your investigation into possible sites for the Dragon Souls. Understood. Our troops are currently scouring the land for other potential ruins. How goes our analysis of the Earth Dragon? I note Joachim is absent. Hold up in Galeritz, I believe. Infatuated with the one world dragon soul we've acquired. Hmm. It would appear everyone understands their role. I expect the same level of competence in your duties henceforth. I declare the Council adjourned. You've all done fine work. Feel free to leave at your leisure. Yes. By your leave, Your Highness. Is something wrong, Beatrice? I note you remain. Hmm? Your Highness, I'm your personal attendant. It's my job to stay at your side. But what of your duties? I imagine Georg is eager for today's report. Whatever do you mean? You needn't dance around it. Your true mission is to spy on me and report my actions to the church. <laughs> so you knew. And how will I be punished? Will I be condemned? Dismissed? Or perhaps... Why? I have many needs, and you are a capable enough attendant. You will remain at my side. Oh, that's... Unexpected? Why? You seem the only member of the Sanguine Church worth my trust. I think you're mistaken, Your Highness. I'm a Dark Elf. You know they say we're all born traitors, don't you? I disagree. I believe your face betrays more than you do yourself. And how's that?
Whenever you leave my room to report to Georg, I see the flash of pain across your face. I see desperation in your eyes. You truly didn't realize? <laughs> A person so burdened with guilt might be a traitor indeed, but not in heart. That is my view of it. Is there anything more you need, Your Highness? Not at the moment. Understood. I'll be taking my leave then. After Mom died, I moved to an elven village. Considering I was a vessel for the Shining Dragon, they treated me well. Thanks to the villagers, I led a comfortable life. But behind their respect, they were terrified of the dragon inside me. So no one ever talked to me more than they had to. I never really had any friends either. All I remember about that village is that I was always alone. Always so lonely. I guess that's why I ended up disobeying my mom and started running off to play with the Shining Dragon's power. As a dragon, I could fly anywhere, roll boulders around, knock down trees, like having my own playground. When I was the Shining Dragon, I felt like I could do anything. It was so much fun. Every time, the Shining Dragon would tell me to go as far from the village as I could when I used his power. I didn't really think too hard about it. I just figured it meant the villagers wouldn't get mad at me. It was only later that I found out why he was warning me. And then everything was painfully clear. Well done, everyone. Thanks to you, the soul of the Sky Dragon is safely in our hands. Any dragon souls you find, including the Sky Dragons, will be safe here in the castle. Keep up the fine work. Oh, but Sonia, how are your injuries? It's nothing too serious. I see. That's a relief. Your opponent must have been fearsome indeed to land such brutal strikes. No, it... The whole thing was my fault. Yuma, he doesn't need to know that. What? You're gonna get everyone worked up over nothing. Just keep quiet. Uh, that's Zest. Strongest in the Empire and stuff. No wonder she got hurt. He's practically a dragon himself, right? <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, quite. Well, moving on. Uh, Burroughs, any word from our scouts? At present, there's no information on Imperial movement. No reliable information, anyhow. Things being quiet as they are, we've no plans to mobilize the Princess and her team right now. I recommend they stand by in town until the boys in reconnaissance have something worth reporting. Stand by? But we can't afford to waste time. Rest isn't wasting time, milady. A knight's got to keep her strength up. Be ready for any new battles on the horizon. We've said it time and time again ever since you were a child. Don't tell me you've forgotten. I... I guess you're right. Okay, we'll wait for your orders. Indeed. Use this time to rest, everyone, and build your strength once more. <sighs> Build our strength, huh? It sounded like a fancy way of giving us some time off. It's kind of sudden, though. I don't really know what I should be doing. Um... May I come in? Oh, Kirika, go ahead, it's open. Pardon me. <sighs> What's up, Kirika? Is there a reason you're just standing there? You are Yuma, correct? Yeah, last I checked. Then I would ask that you walk around town with me. A walk? Where'd this come from? Does the thought displease you? Would you rather not? Huh? N no, that's not what I meant. Good. Then shall we go, Yuma? Um, sure. Let's go.
Yes. How's it going? Hi.
Hi. Wow, when did they get so late? We should probably head back to the inn. Uh, of course. Shall we walk back together, Yuma? Yeah, we... Wait, did you just call me Yuma? Yes, I did. I've actually been doing so since this morning. Really? Now that you mention it, I... <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize, Kirika. It's all right. You needn't worry. But I must say one thing. Um, Yuma. Walking with you today was quite pleasant. Thank you. Very much. Oh, likewise. Thanks for inviting me. Well, we mustn't delay. We should return to the inn, Yuma. No doubt Miss Emma has already begun cooking. Yeah. Hmm? 
Is that you, Humming Kirika? Oh, yes. Was I too loud? No, not at all. The song's just... familiar somehow. Is it? Yeah, I think it was. Right, you were singing that earlier. Oh, I suppose it's possible. I do sometimes. I knew it. I just overheard it, and your voice was so beautiful. It stopped me in my tracks. Oh, really? It'd be nice to actually sit down and listen to it. Would you sing it for me sometime? <gasps> oh, you don't have to. N no it's not reluctance. I could do it now, if you like. Only, uh, no one has ever said that to me before. All right. If you really want me to, Yuma. I shall sing for you. Uh, Yuma? <sighs> did... did you like it? Oh, sorry, just... I feel like I can still hear it in my head. That was amazing. I've never heard anything so... happy. Thank you, Kirika. That was beautiful. It... it's nothing, really. Um... I... Uh, I... I'm just happy you cared to listen. It felt somehow... Different from when I sing it under normal circumstances. I can feel a curious warmth or tenderness. It's hard to put into words. How do I put it? It's okay. You don't have to force yourself. Just hearing your song helped me understand how you felt. I see. Right. We should get back to the inn. I'm getting hungry. Now that you mention it, me as well. Come, Yuma. Let's go. Okay.
Yes. Miss Emma, we've returned. Oh, welcome back. I'll get started on dinner. Thank you. Come, Yuma. We should find our seats. Sure. Oh, um, why did you suddenly start calling me Yuma? Well... You and the Shining Dragon are separate individuals, are you not? I confess for all your insistence, it took me some time to truly grasp that. I only came to realize it recently. What do you mean? After the Shining Dragon's rampage, How did Sonya manage to calm his radiance where I failed? I am a diva magica. This should be my sole purpose. Yet I faltered, and she succeeded. I could not understand. I spent quite a while turning the question over in my mind. And then something occurred to me. The difference was that I called out to his radiance, the Shining Dragon, whereas Sonya spoke to you. Yuma. Oh, now that you mention it, I do kind of remember Sonya calling out to me. So I came to realize, like Sonya, I must learn to see you as not the Shining Dragon, but as yourself. As Yuma. I see. So how's that been going? Well, perhaps it's too early to say. Changing one's perspective takes time, and since... How do you see it, Yuma? Hmm, let me think. It does feel like we're a little closer now. Truly? Yeah, I mean, you kept trying to get me to open up. Did I really? You kept the conversation going as we were walking around town. And even if I didn't realize, you called me by my name. I don't know if that's why, but I feel like we talked a lot more than we would have otherwise. So I feel like I understand you a lot better than I did yesterday. How about you? You're right. I do feel like I understand you better than before. And I cannot say why, but I feel a curious, breathless warmth in my heart. What? <laughs> no doubt just fatigue from our walk. Look, dinner appears to be ready. Shall we?
Excuse me. Something about them seems so sad. I guess that makes sense. Stuck in here, even at a time like this. I just wish I had the right. Sonia? Uh, Yuma! Sorry, I didn't mean to surprise you. You just seem kind of down. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. If you say so. By the way, what is this place? Oh, this? It's where we keep the unused harmonics. We have spare harmonics? Sort of. To be more specific, there are two harmonics here that don't have dragoneers to wield them. You don't use one? But you're so strong. I'm sure you'd be fantastic with one of them. What are you... Right. You don't know how Dragoneers actually, uh, happen. Armonics choose their wielders. When a person worthy of it is nearby, it resonates with a beautiful tone. And so a new Dragoneer is born. But I haven't been chosen by anything. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay, really. Don't worry about it. Someday, I'll be worthy of this harmonic, and I'll become a great dragoneer. Well, that's the plan, anyway. For now, though... Huh. There are two here. Are you attached to that one in particular? Yeah. It's been my dream ever since I was a kid to use this harmonic and protect everyone who stands with me. But I can't do anything yet, so it'll stay in here. I can't wake it. I can't use its power. I can't even tune it. <sighs> then let's take it outside. I'm sure if we ask Lyle, he could tune it. Huh? Wait, Yuma, that was rhetorical. I didn't mean I wanted to try tuning it right this second. But you want to do something for the harmonic, right? For the harmonic? I suppose I do, even if I can't tune it properly. Okay, let's go right now.
good day. Tuning the harmonics in the castle vault. Yeah, do you think you can do that? Well, I'll see what I can do, but I'll need some materials. Afraid I don't have much on hand. What kind? I can get whatever you need. Oh, would you mind? I don't use those materials regularly, so I barely ever have any in stock. Okay, we'll find them. Come on, Sonia. Let's get everyone together. Uh, sure. Do you need something? <laughs> <laughs> 